Okay, Leo, so let's go ahead and choose your cards for this week. I'm Kendrick from Providence Tarot. Card number one is Jupiter in Capricorn. Jupiter is in Capricorn right now where it's debilitated, which just makes it more challenging for you to see the progress as quickly as you might like to see it. You know, you're trying to connect with something, but uh, we're looking for a real connection. Okay, um, Jupiter is talking about expansion, it's talking about growth. So we could be talking about seeing gr the growth of your finances, right? Uh, feeling challenged with that. Uh, you could be feeling a little bit of a push and a pull in your relationships, right? It could be a relationship uh, that you're committed to, it could be a work relationship, or, or it could be, you know, a, a friendship, that type of thing. Um, anything that is important to you that you need to uh, show up for, be accountable for, that type of thing. This talks about accountability. This talks about um, measuring out, quick measure of the opportunities that, that are presented, right? Because Jupiter is talking about opportunities. Uh, and it's opportunities to build. So we're getting started and we're starting to see some progress. We're starting to see some change. There's a need for change, right? You could even be feeling a little bit vulnerable or uncomfortable, right? Uh, with these changes that might be happening uh, and sensitive. Uh, I don't know if I said vulnerable, but that as well. These changes are going to shift your reality, perhaps. Um, it's a little bit of a struggle, and you're going to have to continue to uh, be very flexible and uh, try to, you know, uh, while being flexible, that means being flexible in your mind as well as in your reality, but also showing yourself a little bit of passion, giving yourself a little bit of a break here, and maybe even giving others a little bit of a break, right? Um, you know, you could just be also trying to satisfy your needs with objects, and you could be trying to satisfy your needs with things, uh, or with, 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 with dealing with uh, resources in some kind of way, right? Uh, how are you using your resources? Are you using your resources wisely? And are you using your resources in order to uh, encourage change? What are you building? The tower had come up, has come up, and the tower is talking about the destruction of something or the breaking down, uh, maybe the decay or the erosion of something. Uh, there could be a transformation that comes from this. This is a very powerful uh, effect that this change is having on you. Um, and it could change the way that you spend time. Um, this is also a sudden realization. Uh, this sudden realization could be happening financially. This sudden realization could be happening within relationships, right? Um, you know, it also could even be related to some fears or to some uh, uh, feeling overwhelmed by this sudden shift or by this sudden change. Uh, it definitely has something to do with feelings because it's a seven related to the chariot and it has something to do with relationships because it's a seven related to Libra, which is the seventh house. Um, it's Mars, and Mars is talking about aggression. It's talking about passion. It's talking about intention. Um, yeah, and when we look at the tower, I think Libra, Libra, Cancer, but also Scorpio, Aries, and Capricorn because they all have an affiliation with Mars, okay? Uh, so it's a breaking down of something. Let's go ahead and look at the last card for you, Leo, and you got the Three of Swords. So we're talking about karmic lessons that are happening within your relationships. 
and if you're paying attention to the lessons that are being shown or taught to you because there is taught the three of swords is talking about you know um something that is being shown to you or presented right this is um the uh it could be the age of something, the age of a relationship, the age of a siblingship or a childhood, you know, this, this could even be talking about, you know, the difficulties of growing up or the difficulties of, you know, being involved with more than one person in a relationship or a relationship being affected by, you know, its own multiplicity, right? Because it could be more than one person that's involved in this relationship, right? Uh, it's a third party affecting something, right? It's 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 um, too many different perspectives uh, that might clash because these swords are clashing here in this hard. It does talk about heartbreak and it does talk about. Uh, know feeling a shot to the heart in some kind of way uh the threes are related to the empress which is talking about beauty and love so the love and the beauty could be affected by some consequences you know a relationship could be suffering the consequences of you know things getting out of control because the threes are related to the third house, which is Gemini, which is talking about things that could be become out of control. The two of pentacles is talking about an element of control, right? And the tower is saying out of control, you know? Uh, but it's definitely a relationship, commitment, vulnerability, money, time, shared resources, um, that type of thing. And we have a respect is a lot here, too. Because you have Saturn and Libra, which is talking about you ha how your responsibility in your relationships, right? And accountability. And then we're talking about responsibility as well with Jupiter and Capricorn because Capricorn is ruled by Saturn. This is Mars. Mars is exalted in Capricorn. Mars opposes Libra, okay? Um, so we could be dealing with passions, igniting change. Leo, if you'd like to get a reading with me, email Providence Tarot Kendrick at gmail.com. Follow me on Instagram. It's Providence Tarot. My personal account is NYC Kendrick. And if you are watching Providence Tarot on YouTube, make sure that you comment, like, share, and subscribe. Again, the email is Providence Tarot Kendrick at gmail.com.